Um, when you talk about the albums that I've done, uh, that's actually that's been released, because I've done albums that haven't even been released yet. So we're talking about the two albums, the one I did for Sony, uh, um, Generations. I did that in 97, 98. And that was kind of like a, a, I paid homage to the, to the great Curtis Mayfield. It's like a, it's a, um, a concept album, if you will. Generations, it's like, um, you know, the main titles is uh, Generations. Um, f um, why does it have to be this way? The same old story every day. Generations from father to son, live in a cage or die by the gun. It's basically telling the story of a young guy who, uh, who goes through the whole process of trying to be right, and then he gets caught up in the thing. He gets a girl. She gets pregnant. He goes to jail. The son gets born without the father. He's in jail. He goes to jail, and he meets his father for the first time in jail. Now he's hanging out, and now he's got a son that grows up, and it's a vicious cycle. So that's really what it is. The, con the concept of generations basically tells a story that we hear over and over again in the urban cities. You know, young guy trying to make good, can't make good, goes one way, and it goes bad. And he has a son, and it just goes on and on and on. So. Um, that's pretty much what that was. I felt it was, it was a, a topic that needed to be addressed at the time. And uh, like I said, at that moment in time, it came out of me. It was, it, I felt it, and it was something that I really, really wanted to put out. So concept album, Generations. Uh, a few years later now, we put out Revolution of the Cool. And Revolution of the Cool is just is an eclectic mix. You've got funk, you've got jazz instrumentals, you've got some nice ballads on there. Again, just something that, you know, as an artist, you have to just express yourself. At, in the moment, you, you do what you, what you feel at that moment. Um, and the reason I entitled Revolution of the Cool is because the, the album is so diverse. It's cool to be diverse. I don't like recording linear albums, you know. I call it like background music albums, you know. And again, no disrespect to any other artist, but you, you hear an artist and you pop in their album and it's kind of like this all the way through, you know. And I, uh, someone told me before, they said, look, Kyle, people are either going to love your songs or hate them. You know what I mean? Because it's not, it's not safe. You know, I don't really play it safe. I'll jump from here all the way over here and then jump back down to here and jump back down to there. But again, I think that that's just the way, um, the way I do my thing, you know. So those are the two albums, the main two uh, albums that, that I focus in on right now that, that have come out. So Generations and Revolution are cool. And it is cool to be diverse and it's cool to be hip and it's cool to listen to a jazz instrumental and it's cool to listen to a funk jam. Oh. Thank you. My band. Killers. I got some killers. I got some guys that I've been with for a very, very long time, and I've got some new guys. You know, that's the thing. I think my band also is diverse, white, black. You know, I've got a Polynesian cat. You know, I, 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 I take it wherever I can get it. If you feel it and you understand where we're coming from, then you're welcome. You know, I work with a lot of different musicians on this, um, on this particular album. You know, I've got, you know, Dennis Brown and... Uh, on guitar, I've got uh, my right hand, my, my consigliere, Matt De Palma, who, is, who I, I couldn't really do this thing without him. He's like a brother, a kid brother. Um, Gordon Johnson on drums, um, a great horn section, uh, uh, Joe Naples. and I mean, I, I got a lot of musicians that I work with that helped me throughout the whole process of recording this album. Some guys just came in and did some guest stuff. Um, so the musicians I work with, I try and make sure that they first and foremost understand that I want to hear their freedom on the track. Like I'll steer you in a direction and you say, okay, let me, you know. I'll, I'm, I'm more, more than likely any musician I work with, they'll tell you. I'll tell them um, what not to play faster than them. I'll tell them what to play. You know what I mean? Because if you pick the right guy for the job or the right girl for the job, then they know what to do already. So it makes your job as a producer a lot easier. So I've got some uh, incredible uh, band musicians that I work with. I just want to keep playing, you know. I mean, you know, I want to continue to scour the earth, you know. Like I said, whether we get the mar big marketing campaigns, whether we get the videos played or not, it's about touching people. My, my goal is to scour the earth performing, period. Not only here in the States, but overseas. Go out and physically touch people. 
Give people a reason to come back out and come see some live shows. Keep the ticket prices down. People are working hard, not making that much money. You know, some of these artists right here need to check themselves, man. Hundred fifty dollars for a ticket to come see them perform. You know, explosions, twenty dances on stage. You know, I, you know, get, I want to see you get down. If I pay this to, to a, a ticket, a hundred something dollars, I want to see you sweat. You throw down, you get down. I don't want to see you dance with your dancers. I don't want to see you lip sync. I don't want to see the headpiece. I want to see you work your mic, and I want to see you work the audience. And that's what I'm about. So, um, Kyle J, the future of Kyle Jason and, and my whole band, like I said, our focus is to just scour the earth. Anytime we can get a show, we going. And we playing for the people who want to see us. And we give them a reason to come back. Sometimes at night when I'm alone, I swear I cry. You're my better half, mama.